This dive took place in July 2018 in about 24 metres of seawater and lasted about 53 minutes. And I'm just basically going to take you through video clips interlaced with stills to show you what we saw. Started on this area of uh, reef with a thin layer of material above it. So there was cobbles here, flat, derived from the bedrock underneath, which was fine-grained sandstone and mudstone. And there's various things living on it, which we'll see in a moment. And you can see the size of the uh, the pieces of rock. And there was mixed in bits of bits of sand, bits of gravel and various things growing on the surface of the rock including coralline crusts and little algae and little bryozoans and hydroids and there's things like this uh, dahlia anemone just of sand on the surface but a lot of it was sediment such as this and you can see here there's lots of pieces of mussel shell so somewhere nearby there was a mussel fall that recently been knocked off and smashed and here is a piece of uh, larger or upstanding reef and that's my buddy for the dive and we're back onto sediment we'll just let the video run for a few minutes to give you more of an impression of what the dive was like and what we saw I think that's the remnant of a lobster pot. There were several broken lobster pots on this dive. And here's a little bit of upstanding rock with Cyclipta penicillis, which is a sponge which seems to do quite well under shallow layers of sediment and some algae the noise in the background is my buddy telling me he's putting the uh, delayed yeah. SMB up and now the drift gets quicker with sponges and a few algae and a few erect prizoans. Still the same bedrock underneath. And here we have a closer shot of the sediment and you can see it's gravel. Specifically 4 to 16 millimetres in diameter and there were bits of bedrock on there sort of ground down derived from the reef that we've seen. A lot of mussel shell as we said before, but most of it was small rounded pieces of uh, brown, almost iron stained material. And we'll look at those in a minute. and along quite fast now. Sediment composition hasn't really changed but um, are we getting bored yet? There's a lot of this material. Seems to be pretty deep. Haven't seen any rock for some quite some time. So this is definitely sediment and this is a close-up, another close-up and we can see that we've got quite a lot of dead merle. You can see it's sort of branching a lot of smaller stuff looks almost like ants eggs and here we have picked out with black arrows little bits of rock and you see the majority is either mussel shell 
other bits of shell all this dead merle and there's a lot of it and it carried on in similar composition right the way throughout the dive let's go on a little bit further We're still at about 25 metres here, the, uh, the dive profile was, was very, very flat. Towards the end of the dive, which we're starting to get towards, the profile shallowed very slightly. Here we see another dead lobster pot. And a good uh, image of my buddy. Here we have some more reefy bits. Ah, great, some more interest. But very, very scoured. Sediment obviously moves quite a lot even though we didn't see much in the way throughout the dive of sediment mega ripples or dunes bit of washed in kelp getting to be a bit of a highlight and thousands and thousands of tons of this same material could be that a lot of divers would have knocked it on the head by now. Saying, this is boring, we're not seeing anything. It's all the same stuff. And that's the depth. And the time. You can stop that and check that. Should you be so inclined? But the point is, this was almost a mile of drift, starting on reef and ending on reef. We can see the, uh, the reef coming up here with some waves of sand. But most of the dive, 90% of the dive, was on this sediment, which might uh, be classified as sand or gravel, especially as a drop down video. But we were able to take still photographs and show that composition of this material was mostly biogenic fragments so not majority was not pieces of rock and the pieces of rock that were there were derived locally so this material seems to be washing backwards and forwards in this area for a long period of time much of it was merle it's fossil merle it's all iron stained there's some white material which is relatively recently dead which may have washed in from somewhere close by relatively recently but most of it is fossil deposits there's huge amounts all this material that you see on and around this reef was again fossil mill and the point of this is look at your sediment if you're diving on sediment you might find something that's surprising because this sediment I believe is extremely valuable here's another close-up and you can again see that the majority of the material if you ignore the mussel shell is dead mill and this is sequestered carbon and there's an awful amount of it here and it's easy to overlook it and not record it thank you for watching what was basically a fairly uh, dull dive on the surface and the final reminder look at your sediment if you find yourself diving on sediment thank you very much